Um, okay, guys, we are here thinking about uh, how to have more airflow in the Dream line or in in the Dream Tag Compact. That is what we have. We have now the double platinum here, but we are uh, noticing that it doesn't matter if I have one or two plenums, but if I don't have uh, enough airflow, uh, it's worthless or in other words, I, I need more airflow. <laughs> so what can we do? I already changed my transfer port with a double hole uh, transfer port for air, more airflow. This is by Huma. So I also allocated my uh, pellet proof. I make bigger. So um, I didn't mm, notice too much uh, uh, velocity increase so uh, I think I need more more airflow okay so I this assembly this that is the valve the valve uh, hole or this is what make possible the, the the airflow through the transfer port so I I haven't watched any video about this explaining how is this working i mean it's very logic but i would like to explain a little bit this so this is uh well i have here i have uh, uh, in my setting is 25 and 30 the hole and this basically what uh what makes is it uh lets the let the, the 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 air coming through this uh, port or I don't know how to call this in English, but well, you get the idea. The thing is that this is the biggest one hole we have. Let me let me focus better. Yes, okay. And this part is um, it has two pieces. As you can notice, it has orange here. So this part works like this. If you have 25, 30, this is the biggest hole, as, as I said. Or if you want less power, you turn to this point, and you will see the hole now is smaller. And if you even wanted this. Uh, low you make this smaller the hole now you have the hole here this hole but it's not the only way to for the for the air to flow we have only this little space here and also here okay let me focus here okay so obviously this is the lowest way now you have this that is the medium so to speak and then this that is the biggest one okay now what do we need to do what i'm thinking to do is that i will going to uh i i will go to the, to a lathe and ask to make this piece exactly Maybe I will change the this orange. Uh, I will change this orange maybe to this part. Let me let me focus. Okay, I maybe maybe I will change this orange to this part, and this orange I will move to this, and I will try to make the hole the bigger that I can. So bigger in this size and maybe bigger like this. Okay. In that way, I will have more airflow, and that part, this piece, I will. Uh, okay, there you go. I will, I will, I will uh, install here instead of this. But at the same time, I need to make bigger the valve uh, hole that is this we have inside. This is from the factory. I, I I think this is the the hole that the drill 
makes through the transfer port and beyond coming until here at the bottom for the valve so the air flows obviously from the bottom to top so maybe the 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 uh, f the easiest way is to make bigger this hole not only this hole but going uh, or drill this hole bigger and go through the transfer port and beyond until this part or maybe the other way is with a Dremel maybe uh, uh, put it here inside and elongate or make bigger the inside hole the hole that is inside here in the transfer port and here in the valve i mean this is uh this has to be the the way to to make bigger the the valve uh airflow and take advantage of your plenums in that way you will have more airflow and you don't need to have your uh, hammer spring uh, with a lot of tension okay so uh, let's try to do this in the coming days in the near future I let you know as soon as I figure out how to do this <laughs> and make a decision so well in the meantime be safe take care and see you in the next video guys